everybody and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. So... How's it going everybody? I hope finals are going well for you guys and studying and everything. And today we are going to do a video that... I did a lot of research to find like questions that I really liked. And this is a 35 things about me video. So this is kind of interesting because I don't really talk about myself so much online. Um, I haven't really, like, even my Instagram, my private Instagram, has, like, pictures with quotes on it. But I don't really talk about my own personal life. So this is kind of interesting because these are some questions that are things that I've never really thought about. So let's go. So 20 facts about me. Wow, okay. Um, one, I was born in Minnesota, Winona, Minnesota. Two, I was born with six fingers on one hand. Now I have a little stubby right there from it. Three, I have three siblings. I have two sisters and one brother. Uh, the brother and sister are twins and then I have a younger sister, she's 15. Four, I was in lots of sports in high school. I played volleyball, I was in cheerleading, I ran track. I did basketball in middle school and then I was in tons of clubs and organizations like FFA and the school newspaper, Girl Scouts, just tons of stuff. I was super involved. Musicals, band, everything. Uh, five, I played clarinet for 12 years. Six, my original course of study that I was going into school for was marine biology and that's why I moved to Florida. Seven, my lucky numbers are seven and 14. My favorite number is 14 and my lucky number is always seven. Eight, my favorite food is pancakes or waffles. Nine, my favorite holiday is Halloween, although I haven't really celebrated it that much because I'm always at work. 10, my favorite movie is probably all of all time is life as we know it. For some reason, I just watch it all of, like all the time and I love it, it's really fun. 11, I went to Kickapoo High School in Biola, Wisconsin. 12, my town's population when I left was 415 people. Reestown, Wisconsin, everybody. 13, my best friend from high school still comes and visits me at least once a year. Her name is Phoebe. 14, I ran eight races in the last year so far. Uh, if you count the one that I'm about to run this weekend. I ran eight races in three seats. I'm pretty proud of that. 15, I know how to sew. I'm making a quilt right now, which is up there. 16, I can't watch sports like football or baseball or anything like that unless if I am there in person. I really enjoy being there in person, but I don't enjoy watching over TV. 17, my favorite sports to watch are baseball and football. 18, my favorite color is blue, like the ocean. 19, my eyes turn bright blue whenever I cry, which sometimes when I was in high school, I used to cry before school just to make my eyes look prettier. And 20, my favorite jobs to work have always been with kids. I used to work as a camp counselor in California, and over the last year and a half, I have been an activities staff member at two different resorts. Second question, my guilty pleasure. My guilty pleasure is probably either just sleeping or watching YouTube. I spend so many hours a day watching YouTube. Three, three personality traits I am proud of. I'm very kind, I have a really big heart. I have a lot of energy and I'm very positive. I always look at the brighter side of things. Four, five favorite foods. Pancakes, waffles, French toast, black bean burgers, and bananas. Five is older pictures of me. I'm just gonna insert a bunch of pictures of me. Tattoos and piercings. I have this is my first tattoo. Right there. I got that when I was 18 in Monterey, California. I got this was my second tattoo. I got this here in celebration back in, last year, last April. And I got this tattoo about three months ago. Or two months ago. And it says dare you to move. This is one of my favorite quotes. Uh, this one is to symbolize that I can leave any story I don't love myself in and I played clarinet for 12 years, so I have the music 
part. I also have my nose pierced. You can't see it because I have a clear piercing in. I have my ears double pierced and I have a belly button piercing. And I got the belly button piercing the day that my ex-boyfriend and I broke up. So, celebrity crush is either David Dobrik, he is like the love of my life, and I really like Dave Franco as well. If I won the lottery, I would pay off all my student loan debt, I would help my mom and get her a house, and I would donate the rest of it to different organizations throughout the world. Favorite quote, when you love someone and they break your heart, don't give up on love, have faith, restart. I plan on getting a tattoo right here that says have faith, restart someday. What is in my bag? Hold on. What is in my bag? This is the bag I take to work every day. I just have a bunch of random stuff. I have notebook paper, my old notebook from the class I was in, a book called I'll Give You a Dollar If You Consider This Art by Patty Smith, papaya enzymes, I eat this whenever I have an upset stomach, promethazine, this is to keep me from throwing up, paint, which I mean to take out, gum helps with anxiety, my charger for my watch, a bunch of random notes, a little notebook, it says oh the places you'll go, a lint roller, vitamin B12, and some suckers from Halloween. What am I afraid of? I've already talked about this, but I have an irrational fear of people throwing up. I am also afraid of not living up to people's expectations of me, and that one probably limits me a lot. My worst habits, probably, I have this really bad habit of liking someone until they like me back, and then I just back off and I don't like them anymore. I also, in a relationship, I tend to self-sabotage a lot, so like I will like a person. I did this a lot with my ex when we first met was that I would give him reasons not to like me so that if he left me, I could blame myself. I also have a habit of procrastinating. Like this video, I have 20 more minutes to film it and then I have to go to work. Where do I want to be in 10 years? Well, as of right now, I plan on finishing my bachelor's at UCF, and then once I get done with that, I want to enlist in the Peace Corps. And then after I get done with that, I want to go work on a cruise ship for a year. And then once I'm done with that, I plan on going to Europe and backpacking through every country of Europe for eight months. And then when I'm done with that, I want to come back to the United States, pack up all my stuff and move to Costa Rica and build a 100% sustainable house. That has been my plan for the last six months. And I've been working really hard to make that work out. Something I miss. I miss my family a lot. I miss my friends, hanging out with my friends. I work all the time, so I never get to see my friends. I kind of miss the person I used to be. I used to be really fun and exciting and like do things all the time. And now all I do is work, sleep, watch YouTube and create YouTube videos. So that's about it. 10 favorite songs. Uh, most of them are NF songs because NF is my favorite. Um, my favorite song by him is If You Want Love. So If You Want Love by NF, Only by NF, Change by NF, Double by Black Bear. Habits by Machine Gun Kelly, Consequences by Camila Cabello, and My Blood, I believe is what it's called, by uh, Shawn Mendes, Don't Be a Fool by Shawn Mendes, Hold On by the Jonas Brothers, Dreams by Anna. You can tell I've been going through a rough time because all my songs are kind of depressing. My pet peeves, they are, I hate it when people cancel plans, and I also hate it when people can't eat live up to their promises or what they say. I also don't like people who uh, sniffle, like, bothers me so much. Difficult time in my life. I would say that the last two years of my life have been the most difficult. I went through a really rough breakup and then I got into another really rough relationship and I lost my aunt, she committed suicide. I went to the hospital for some things. I ended up in a new apartment that I got evicted from. I lost my job. Like just a lot of things have happened in the last two years that have made it very difficult for me, but I'm starting to get back on my feet now. Best physical features. I would say my eyes. And probably my smile. I've been told that my smile is pretty infectious, so I think those are my two best features. Top favorite vlogs. I love David Dobrik. Obviously, he's my favorite. I really like Zayn, Hajazi, Heath Hussar, Carly and Aaron, and Tara Yummy. Sam and Kobe, TFIL, love them too. What makes me feel better always? Sleep and watching YouTube, watching David Dobrik vlogs. He helped me out a lot through um, my first breakup, so watching his vlogs always makes me really happy. Last time I cried, I cried yesterday because I was on the phone with my mom 
and I just was very upset because my acne, I realized that this is all scarring right here and you can still see that I have pretty bad acne and it just made me so upset because my skin used to be so clear inserted a bunch of pictures that make me cry because my skin needs to be clear and I just don't it doesn't help my self-esteem at all and that's why like I haven't been filming too many videos lately because I just don't feel good about myself right now top things on my bucket list the top three things on my bucket list are to backpack through Europe hike the PCT and see the bottom of Mariana Trench I also really want to do Peace Corps I want to skydive I want to make it to every single country and every single state at least once in my life. And I want to go to all the big top five music festivals, which are, in my opinion, um, Bonnaroo, Lollapalooza, Coachella, EDC, and Burning Man. And I have been to Lollapalooza. So I'm hoping to go to Bonnaroo this year. How have you changed in the last two years? I believe I've changed a lot. I used to be really naive and I used to be more carefree and I believe like right now I'm very cautious. I don't do a lot with my life just because I'm scared to put myself out there I guess. I always let myself have one week in the summer or two weeks in the summer where I just end up carefree and don't care about like my job, my apartment, and anything back home. I just kind of let myself be carefree for once and that was like when I went on my road trip and stuff like that. Um, I did get in a really, really rough relationship that left me very different as a person and that kind of changed the way that I am and the way I view life and everything like that. So that I think that's the biggest change. I also have become more responsible. I have a job that I work full time and I also have this apartment that I have to maintain and it's just a lot. I'm trying to go to school as well. so. I've kind of become more of an adult, I feel. What kind of person attracts you? I really like people who are independent because I'm extremely independent. I like someone who's adventurous, who loves themselves and isn't afraid to love others. And just overall a fun personality, somebody who can make me laugh, someone who I feel is home to me. Your opinion of cheating on people? Uh, don't do it. You don't even know how much that destroys the person. My ex cheated on me and it completely ruined our relationship. We got back together two times after that and every single time we just, it never worked out because I couldn't get past him cheating on me. Uh, but he also never wanted to have a conversation about it, which kind of ruined things as well. But yeah, just if you're not happy with that person, then just leave. My current relationship, I am currently single and I am happily single. I'm not looking for anything really. I don't have time for anything and right now I'm trying to love myself. I'm very much trying to take this time to heal myself from my last relationship and to love myself for who I am and who I'm becoming and try to figure out what I want in my life and where I want to go with my life. So I am happy being single. I'm trying to make more time for my friends. I'm trying to make more time for myself and I'm trying to make more time for you guys in the YouTube community. So yeah. Wow, this is all hitting really hard. Uh, things you want to say to your ex. Hi, I miss you. Uh, I hope you are doing well. I hope that your move to Texas went very smoothly and I hope that you're going to school and you're getting everything that you wanted out of it. I hope that all your dreams come true and you find somebody someday that you love as much as I loved you and you can learn to love yourself the way you deserve to be loved because you're a great person. And I only wish you the best. You're truly a great person and if you're watching this I love you and I hope you're doing well. That got really emotional, sorry. Best thing to happen to you this week, I ran that half marathon and I beat my time from last year by 48 seconds, so that was kind of cool. Uh, it felt really good to run. I think that's probably the best thing that's happened. Something you can't seem to get over, my ex. I don't know. I can't, I can't think of anything that is just really pertinent that I can't seem to get over. There's, there's some things like, um, some personal things I'm going on that are going on, but other than that, like, I don't really feel comfortable sharing that with you guys at this time, but yeah, there's some, there's some things in my life. Something you always will think what if about. What if I never moved to Florida? 
So that's probably the biggest one. What if I, what if I never came down here? What, where would I be? What would I be doing? I believe that everything happens for a reason. So I believe this was like my destiny to come here and to meet all the people I have met and everything like that. But that's probably my biggest what if. Talk about your siblings. Okay. Uh, I have a little sister. Her name is Alyssa Beth and she's 15. Her and I were best friends when I was growing up. She is the light of my life. Uh, right now she's a little bit of an angsty teen, but I love her to death and I hope I can see her again soon. Um, I have a brother and sister, they're twins, they're seven, so they're younger and I haven't been really in their life as much as I was with my sister. Uh, but they're cute, I see them. They came and supported me for my half marathons I ran in Wisconsin and Minnesota, so that was really great. And yeah, they're, they're adorable little children, so. The month you were happiest this year and why? Probably August. Uh, that was when I was at Lollapalooza. I was on my road trip. I saw my family. I just got to live very freely and got to do things that I enjoy doing. I traveled, I went to concerts, and I went and ran races, which are my three favorite things to do. And I, like I said, I got to see my family. My ex and I had gotten back together at that point and we were pretty happy. And I started school, I was very happy with school and just everything seemed to be going really well in my life. 10 interesting facts most people don't know about you. Um, I said a lot of them earlier, but I guess I'll come up with five on the spot since I said like 20 of them earlier. Every time I walk past a body of water for some reason, I have this sudden urge to just throw my phone in and like it's really hard because sometimes I just want to throw my phone in. Number two, I have this weird thing with holding my breath when I cross bridges and also like if there's construction going on on a bridge I have a like mini panic attack because there was a bridge that collapsed in Minnesota and I thought my dad was on it because uh, he wasn't answering his phone. So now I have this weird irrational fear of bridges sometimes. Those are the only two I can really think of and I'm running out of time to film so I guess those are, those are two really weird and interesting facts about myself. Five good things and five bad things that happened this year. The bad things. I got evicted from my apartment. I lost a lot of my really good friends. Went through a really traumatic breakup. I dropped out of college and I lost my job. Five really good things that happened. I got a new amazing job. I ended up with this wonderful apartment. I met so many new and amazing people that are now in my life. I went vegetarian and it helped my stomach issues. And I graduated with my first degree. Relationship with your parents. This is number 35. So here we are with the last one, relationship with my parents. I do not have the best relationship with either of my parents. Um, we're not super, super close. I talk to my mom as much as I possibly can. And her and I are mending our relationship right now, but my dad and I don't really talk at all. Um, maybe like once every couple months and on holidays and stuff like that. But when I moved away, I kind of knew that it would be like that. And I wanted to make a better life for myself than what I thought I could have in Wisconsin. So I made the decision to leave. But my family, I believe that they're there for me through whatever I need them for. So that's great, at least I have them. Um, but yeah, sorry if that got like really weird and emotional. I just figured that I would make a video kind of telling you guys a little bit about my life and me as on a personal level because I always enjoy watching videos of people that talk about their own personal lives and such like that. So I'm gonna go to work. I hope you guys have a wonderful Vlogmas Day 6, December 6th. And I hope you don't party too hard. I know it's Friday, but you guys got finals, so calm down. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow with a new and exciting video. Bye.